Hi guys, so this is the part in the video where I'm supposed to tell you uh, This is an iron farm that produces over 350 items per hour And it's a super cheap and easy design that doesn't require name tags and all that good stuff And my name is Bonan's Craft. I'm supposed to tell you all this kind of stuff But you know what? You already know that Because you clicked this video And you saw the thumbnail So why do I have to tell you about it? In fact, why am I even still talking? Let's get into the video the first thing to do is to make a bridge up to probably 20 blocks up or so. Oh, okay. 20 blocks up or so. Um, and I would not suggest building a tower straight up. I would suggest making a bridge because this bridge is going to be useful later. And so then once you get 20 blocks up. And also, don't build like in the air floating above next to a hill. Like... Even though this might be super high off the ground, it's next to the hill, and so we want to keep it far away from hills and the ground. So don't build next to a hill, and just tower up as a staircase to start. Another thing I would suggest doing is making a little platform like this, so that you can just keep all your stuff in chests here that you're building with, and so you can kind of come back, and this can kind of be your base of operations when you're building this farm. And then when you're done with that, uh, you need to make a chest right here. And this is the middle of your farm. So wherever you put this, you're gonna build the farm out back here, but this is the center. So you're gonna, it's gonna be equal on either side. So just make sure you put, when you put your chest down, make sure you know where you want your farm to be because otherwise it's not gonna. All right, the next thing to do is to make a platform of hoppers. Now you don't have to do this because you're probably building this because you need iron in your survival world. You probably don't have any yet. It means you probably don't have enough to build this big old platform of hoppers. So to start out, you could just get rid of all these and the iron is just going to drop onto the floor here. Uh, and then you can pick it up and use it to craft your hoppers and then put your, hafters, uh, put your hoppers in as the last thing. And that's fine. Another thing to note about these hoppers is that they're all pointed into the chest. So this one's pointed in that one, which is pointed in that one. You need to make sure that if you throw an item into any one of them, it's always going to end up in the chest. So as long as basically all these arrows are pointed towards the chest in the end, then you're set. The next thing to do is to build a seven high glass wall. So five, six, seven. Seven blocks high right here. It doesn't all have to be glass, but just remember you're not going to be able to open your chest. Uh, if the box the blocks above it are solid blocks So you could put slabs or something here if you want to build this out of something other than glass I like to build it out of glass just because then I can see what's going on inside the farm uh, But if you don't have the resources to get all this glass, that's fine. You don't uh, you don't have to uh, Build it out of glass. Just remember if these aren't glass if they're I don't know, you could put Stairs in here if that's not You put like some sort of stairs then you can still open the chest um, and then you could just make the rest of it out of like dirt if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. I just like building out of glass. All right, and after that, you're just going to build a, another wall out behind your hoppers. So you've got a wall on either, whoops, you've got a wall on either side of your hoppers. And this one uh, definitely does not have to be out of glass. And I usually build it out of something other than glass. So. It doesn't matter, but it has to be the same height as the glass wall. Actually, I take that back. It has to be one shorter. So you have your glass wall at seven blocks high, and you have your other wall that's six blocks high, and you've got your chest on the side with the glass wall. If you're following, just pause the video and build it yourself, though I would suggest watching the whole video through and then building the entire farm. Uh, but you don't have to do it that way. If you follow along step by step, pause the video now build this setup and the next thing is to place blocks every other block so three like this and three like this starting with the bottom one then you'll end up with this weird bug shape it looks like a beetle or something behind your glass wall and then you're gonna take off of each of those some walls some actual wall blocks and Bring them along coming out of each of your little extensions that you made. Alright, the next thing to do is to break in to your 
area here and place signs down on each other. You can actually place signs down on each other on every point place that's one block off the ground. So right where your head is, you place all your signs on each other just like this. And so now you've got these signs right here. It does not matter what type of signs you use as long as you use signs. Then you can just cover this back up again. All right, and now is a good time to extend your platform around back behind your big old thing right here. Um, it's just going to be useful. And for the next step especially, you're really going to need to have your platform extend back out behind your killing chamber, as this is. Okay, the next thing to do is to go to the middle two blocks of your tower and go one block up right there and go out five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And you're going to put a boat right here at the end. And you also probably could use some stairs to get up there. And this boat is where your zombie is going to go. Okay, the next thing you need to do is get your zombie. And I think the easiest way to do that is just to run around at night, uh, try not to get killed, and find some zombies like there are over here. Don't die to the other moths. And since zombies have a super long lock-on radius, you should be able to get them to just chase you all the way up your staircase. And that's why you needed a staircase, because if you just made a tower, it'd be super hard to get your zombie up to the top. But this way, as long as you don't die to these guys. This is this is craziness, but okay. So these guys, come on, you're so close. You can make it. Alright, we're so close. Alright, they're here. Now run around back. Jump up here. And try to get them to stand in your boat. Oh, right, sweet. He sat down in the boat. Aha, sucker. All right, now that we've got our dude in the boat, basically smooth sailing. So you actually don't need those two blocks to be right here. I like to keep them, uh, but you do not need these blocks. All right, so we're gonna take our little two by two platform that we've got our zombie on and build out one, two, three, four blocks on each side. One, two, three, four. And then one of these blocks, it doesn't really matter, uh, but I'm gonna put it one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put it right there. You could have put it right there. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you've got three sections of four coming, oops, three sections coming out from this two by two area where the zombie is. All right, the next thing to do is to put beds on the ends of all these little extensions that you've made. And also, one thing I forgot to do a minute ago, you need to have a roof over top where your zombie is. Otherwise, when it becomes day, uh, your zombie is going to burn in the sunlight, and that's bad. So put a roof over it. Make sure your roof isn't made out of glass, because then he'll still burn. Uh, make sure it's solid blocks, and you'll be good. All right, the next thing to do is to build walls all the way around these areas where you have your bed and your zombie and actually the roof before i had it too high you should actually have it three high so that if you're underneath it you can jump uh because villagers that are going to go in here where the beds are uh need to be able to jump to be able to get into their beds so next we're just gonna build walls up all the way around this um i'm gonna build on my glass just because i like to be able to see but it doesn't not it does not have to be glass it can be no, deep slate or concrete or stairs i don't care as long as there's blocks there all right the next thing is is to put some temporary blocks like dirt in between the areas with the beds and a zombie this is, so that this is because we're about to put villagers in there with the zombie and we don't want the zombie to kill the villagers for now we want them to be trapped in here where they are all right so you're probably asking what is the best way to find villagers and to get them into your farm well the answer why am i wearing this armor well the answer is build reasonably close to a village so i built reasonably far away from this village by the way you cannot build this farm inside of a village so if you've been trying that uh, i'm sorry please please don't build your farm inside of a village 
village outside of a village but reasonably close to a village so that you can get your villagers and then you really have three options you could use mine carts to get your villagers over here but mine carts cost a lot of iron and you don't have a lot of iron yet because you're building this farm so that you can get the iron so that's a bit of a problem so you might not want to build it with uh, mine carts you could use a boat and just boat the villagers one by one you need three by the way you need three villagers <coughs> excuse me so you bring your villagers over here with boats um you can't go up hills with boats so you need to use pistons but you could do that you could push your boat up with a piston um and just do it all the way up here though this farm is pretty high up in the air so it might be hard to do that uh the way i would suggest doing it is if you just come in and make this staircase three wide so like this and then say you've got a villager down here at the bottom which actually let me all right so now all our monsters over here are gonna hopefully die but if you have a three block wide staircase then you should just be able to put your villager down here at the bottom and get, say, a um, barrel. And put the barrel on here. And your villager should look at the barrel and go up and get a job with the barrel. And then you could put a barrel right here. If it's three wide, of course. And then when you break this barrel, he's going to look at this barrel up here and go get a job with it. And then you're gonna keep going all the way until you get to the top. Cheer, I'm so close. I might as well just finish this on camera. There you go. And then you put another barrel down. You break this one. It goes up to get to the next one. Put another barrel down. Break this one. It goes up. Put another barrel down. Break this one. Up. Oh, come on, come on, dude. Uh, looks like he's going for it. Put one right here. Break this one. And then you're also going to need some sort of stairway to get up there. So. And that also has to be three wide if you're going to. Alright, so once you got your stairway built, you can just, you know, keep placing and breaking, placing and breaking. And the villagers should cooperate. They sh they're usually pretty good about this, but sometimes they can get annoying and, like, jump off the cliff or something. So I'm sorry if that happens to you. And then we'll place one in there. Break this one. And since he's an idiot, he's going to drop down in there. And we're just going to give him a gentle push on. Yes, yes. Give him that gentle push. Break the block, and now he's stuck. And do that with the other two villagers. I'm not going to do that on camera because that would take forever. And those little green particles means that they see their bed and they're able to sleep in their bed. Uh, so that's great. That's exactly what you want. Now to the next step. All right, now we're going to extend this roof over top of all of our villagers. And it might get dark in there at night. So whenever you do this, uh, maybe just put like a torch in each of their apartments just so that they don't like get a zombie spawn in there and die i know it's unlikely but just want to be careful with these things. it would really stink if your villager died and your farm stopped working all right now we're going to take this platform that we made before and extend all four pieces of it out seven blocks so in the end they should end up lining up right on top of where this villager's head is and uh, so now that we've got this platform in uh, so just as another moment to pause for you, this is what your farm should look at like at this point. We've got this chamber that we already built. We've probably got some sort of pathway to get these villagers up. And at this point, our villagers are in and our zombie is in. Um, we've also got this platform up on here, which currently looks like some sort of bird or airplane. I'm not sure. Uh, so that's just to catch you up. If you have any questions, just like, Pause it right now, and build it yourself, and come back. Uh, 
Alright, the next thing to do is to take your walls that we were using before and extend them all the way around this platform. Not on the platform, but around the platform. Uh, so, something like this. And now one thing I kind of did wrong earlier, Iron Golems could spawn on these blocks right here, so change them to glass or some other non-spawnable block. So if they were like this, you could just take some buttons, I don't know, take a button, and if you put these right there, now these blocks are safe, either put like glass or put buttons on them, something like that. Uh, I'm just going to have glass so that I can see better. And this one, and these two. The next thing to do is to put water all the way down on this end, and it should flow right to the end, but not pour over. If it pours over, then you built something wrong. Uh, it should start right here and go all the way, so anywhere you fall inside of this thing, you're just gonna get pushed right over the edge into the killing chamber. All right, now we have almost everything ready. We just need a way to kill our iron golems once they spawn. So we're going to put lava on these two middle blocks here in the killing chamber. And it should spread to fill all the corners. And that way, you could walk around in here perfectly safe with the lava above your roof. But the iron golems, since they're three blocks tall, uh, will fall into the lava and die. But their drops will still end up in this chest. Alright, the next thing to do is basically make it so that your farm starts, starts working. Because right now... Villagers aren't summoning Iron Golems because they're not scared of the zombie because they can't see him. So we put this wall of dirt in. But if we break in right here and put trap doors on the floor and set this block to something more permanent because this actually block gets to stay. So set those to concrete or even glass we could use. I'm just going to put glass in. And then when we break these three dirt blocks, your farm should start working. Because now all your villagers can see your zombie. They're getting scared of him. And so Iron Yom should start spawning up here. But be careful, you are going to have to get rid of your dirt platform right here. Otherwise, Iron Golems will start spawning on it. And then they won't get pushed in lava and your farm will stop working. And with all this, your farm should be set up. Uh, you might have to move the boat with the zombie around in it a little bit. Like, you might have to tweak it a little bit like maybe it's not in the right spot maybe you need to put it in the middle of it more um like see this one looks like it's too close to one side so i might have to drag it around um as long as it's in basically the middle uh it should be good but uh you never can tell with these kind of farms so whoa uh -oh, i'm stuck So if you just leave it like this, it should work. You might have to wait for it to go night and then go day again. Um, but your farm should be all set up. Uh, you can actually leave this wall open if you'd like. Or you can close it. It doesn't really matter. So I went ahead and got rid of my platform that was right here. Uh, because the iron gums could actually spawn on that. And then that would mess up my rates. Uh, but if you want to be able to actually access this chest, you could just build a hopper line if you wanted to you could like, have a chest all the way down here and just like build a hopper line all the way up and then anything that went into this chest would just immediately go down that chest you could do that once you get some iron from this farm um, you might not be able to though you could just make a platform up here and make sure that it's spawn proof so like like i said before put buttons on or something and 
then it'd be safe and you could come up here and do stuff. You just gotta be careful and make sure that your platforms aren't spawnable. Okay, so at first my farm wasn't actually working, wasn't spawning in Iron Golems, but then all I did was just save and quit and reload the world and it started working again fine. So if you're having that problem, just try leaving your world and coming back. Try maybe moving around in the boat. Uh, though I doubt that would really fix it. If you don't want to get in the boat, by the way, you could use a a fishing rod and throw it and use that. Yeah, look, there's another golem in here. Ah. I, maybe you can't move the boat like that. I don't know. Never mind. Don't. I didn't say it. Don't think about anything I just said. And so now we are collecting iron in this chest down here and a torch, which I put in. But yeah, so this is a working iron farm and it doesn't need the name tag for the zombie, which is why I would recommend it. And yes, thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye.